Welcome back, Disc Golf fans, to the 2024 Music City Open presented by Lone Star Discs. Again out at Mill Ridge Park this year with a halfway new design, uh, kind of like Jonesboro. We are renumbering the holes a bit along with some new holes. I'm Nathan Queen, again joined by Andrew Fish. Yeah, pretty neat layout here. Mostly open, a lot of out of bounds in play, and if the wind is up, this can be a very challenging track at over 11,000 feet. You see here the Pro Tour standings entering the event. Always lots of competition up and down the leaderboard. Uh, everybody working towards that Pro Tour championship come October. Yeah, definitely so. Some some familiar names and some new names inside that top leaderboard that you see there. Uh, going into the MPO course, like you said, just over 11,000 feet, so a bit longer than Jonesboro last week, and a bit of a hike as well. Yeah, up and down the hills, par 67, uh, lots of big shots, but also some opportunity for strategic golf play, choosing to lay up or go for more. Yeah, uh, lots of OB lining the fairways. If you go for more, it always makes that birdie a lot easier. But some of the layups are also possible to get aggressive on the second shot and still attack for the birdie. We're going to start here with Jesse Niemannen on hole one. A little bit obstructed, but cashing from circle two. Yeah, another thing you might see a, a good amount of out here is trees inside the green and You see Carter here, a great drive on hole one inside the bullseye. Calvin Heimberg on the restructured hole three. Throws his upshot from the short side and barely cresting up onto the hill. He'll have about 25 feet left for a birdie putt. And speaking of birdie putts, Anthony Barella Cashing that one in. No pictures uh, on the scorecard, but we'll watch it again. You say tra cashing, I say trashing. <laughs> Logan Either Bowers. Either one works. Yeah. Logan Bowers, forehand specialist here from Tennessee. And one little tap onto the onto the base on hole four. That's my favorite putt every round. On a brand new hole six. Calvin Heimberg with a nice hyzer. Got to control your distance well as there's OB long. That'll do it. Now over here to the very challenging hole eight. Anthony and, uh, Barella, deep C2. And that one was for par after scrambling out on the right side. Par's good on hole eight. Bowers taking the wide forehand. And the wind helps that swing back to a park job. What seems to be the best spot to attack hole 11 for birdie is about a 500 foot power hyzer to get long of it. That's where you see Calvin at there. He's able to cash that downhill putt. Yeah, just 9% circle one in regulation for the field on 11. Now over to the 14th. Short and technical. And likely the only nice touch from a tree on this hole today. <laughs> Calvin is out there for an easy birdie. Barella on the par 5 15th. And that's about as simple and easy as your third shot is going to get. He'll, he'll be up there for a birdie. Yeah, 15 playing very long for that 1,100 feet, all slightly uphill the entire way. And this shot here from AB, super aggressive and probably one of the most difficult shots to execute. Getting that slow drift out over OB the entire way. Beautiful shot. And no slow drift here. My word. And that makes playing a par five pretty easy. Wow. Well, there you have it. Simon Lazat starting off where he finished last year in first place at the Music City Open. Yeah, seems like he was about 100% on most of his stats there today. <laughs>
and we will jump over to the FPO Chase Card Plus highlight coverage here. Checking in another long course, Nathan. Yeah, definitely so. Uh, seemed to play pretty tough for the ladies this first round. As um, coming in at almost 9,600 feet, uh, that's a layout where it we're still kind of used to seeing for the MPO. Yeah, absolutely. And a little pop-up thunderstorm, or storm, I guess, had some of the field unprepared for umbrellas and towels. Macy Vela Diaz on the elevated hole two, no problem. Yeah, might not have started misting just yet, but Macy able to connect there. As we don't really see Holland Hanley, but she's got a nice birdie putt there on hole five coming back out of the woods. And continuing the Holland Hanley show on hole eight. And a good strike high into the chains. And here again, Holland Hanley. Another new hole here, hole 10. The right side a bit tighter, harder to access, but she gets the nice skip there. Nice Going to be up there towards the basket. As we've now found the mist storm on the green, able to connect. Another great birdie. And on the 11th, really like the look of this hole. Kind of low ceiling at the tee and at the green. Straight drive for Handley. Yeah, and a decent amount uphill, as you can see, the camera pans in towards the basket. Great shot from Holland. And actually, actually from long. Yeah, pushed long. It is a little bit downhill over on the left side, but no problem there for Holland keeping that round going. And this is Holland's upshot on 13 after an OB stroke. Plays a flip up. And a good skip near Circle's Edge, and then taps the koozie. Yeah, I can't draw it up much better. Great par save. On a very difficult hole, you really have to control both of your shots. Emily Weatherman on 16. Similar to what Barella had done. Beautiful shot. Gorgeous. It was really good. <laughs> and now Holland for birdie on 17. Yeah, let's keep it going. Circle two putt. And love the good vibes from the card mate. Silva Saarinen on 18. Big downhill shot into a headwind with some cross. Yeah, and it looks like she trusted a disc with a little bit of stand up in it in that headwind. And it's going to pay off as she got way down the fairway. Big skip towards the pin. And closes out. That's actually going to land Silva on the lead card for round two of the Music City Open. And as you might expect, seeing Holland Hanley make all those putts, she is in the lead here with a seven under par round, 1031 rated round. Yeah, super exciting. Uh, survive some adversity on 14. We will, we will be excited to bring you more Gatekeeper Chase Card Plus highlights as we go through this event. For Nathan Queen, I'm Andrew Fish. We'll see you guys out there.